In the latest episode of Days of Our Lives, Marlena Evans expressed her concern about Brady Black possibly relapsing into drinking. Although Paul Narita witnessed a close call before the wedding, he chose not to share this with Marlena. Reassuring Marlena, Paul then rushed to find his brother, as Brady had texted Marlena earlier, claiming he spent the night at the office. In reality, Brady had been covering up another drinking binge in Fiona Cook's room. Fiona and Brady agreed to keep their secret booze arrangement hidden. Meanwhile, Sarah Horton persuaded Xander Cook to visit Fiona, who was still in Salem, hoping she could attend their wedding. Xander, wanting to make amends, reluctantly agreed. Upon arriving at Fiona's suite, Fiona quickly pushed Brady into the bathroom, forcing him to escape through the window. Brady, with twigs in his hair and limping, was found by Paul in the town square. Brady admitted to twisting his ankle and made excuses to cover his relapse, but Paul remained concerned. Nevertheless, he called Marlena to reassure her. In another part of town, Marlena discussed with Maggie Kiriakis about Teresa Donovan taking responsibility for her past actions. Although still angry about the kidnapping, Maggie acknowledged Teresa's remorse. Their conversation shifted to Sarah's wedding plans and Xander's efforts to reconcile with Fiona, giving Sarah hope. When Xander finally confronted Fiona, she sought forgiveness for her past mistakes. Fiona insisted she wasn't trying to absolve herself of guilt, but wanted to help Xander understand her struggles. Xander remained skeptical about Fiona's claims of sobriety and her stint in a mental institution, but Fiona pleaded for his belief and expressed her love, tugging at his heartstrings. However, Xander noticed something nearby that left him shocked, potentially evidence of another drinking binge. In Kayla Johnson's office, Steve Johnson surprised her by returning without John Black. Despite his efforts in Greece, Steve only found a bloodstained note John left for Katharina in a cemetery. Testing the blood with ISA resources confirmed it was John's, leading Steve to suspect foul play. He informed Marlena about the alarming news, suggesting John hadn't been seen at his hotel for several days. Meanwhile, in Poplar Bluff, Chad DeMera and Jack Devereaux tracked down the abandoned building they believed was in the video, hinting at more discoveries to come. 